hello again YouTube and um, welcome to another of my tutorials um, today is a blending tutorial using Photoshop it's probably my favorite photo editing software at the moment um, I'm just going to show you how to blend two images it's like my desktop background um, bit of a Megan Fox theme going on this week uh, as I am blending another two Megan Fox pictures today um, obsessive much? Wow. <laughs> so yeah just go ahead and open up your Photoshop um, you're going to want to open up both pictures, so just hit file open and you know open them both I'm assuming you know the basics of Photoshop um, so now we got both pictures she's more in the centre of the picture whereas when I put her on this image I want her to the right so I'm only going to crop, I'm going to crop out the right of the image by selecting mainly the left part of the image um, you know you might want your whole picture so just get your rectangle tool and select the whole picture and then get your arrow and just drag it onto the other tab and layer it on top um, as you can see she's quite huge compared to the other image so you just want to hit edit free transform and scale this down so that she fits I don't know why I'm calling the picture a sheaves you tell me right um, I'm going to drag that to about there yeah one thing you don't want to do when blending image images is uh, get them too close together you want a bit of a gap in between um, so it blends and you're not overlapping on either of your images um, a good way to check if you're right is just turn down your opacity turn it up or down under your little layers section um, so yeah now we've got our image set we got it where we want it um, you're going to want to head down to your layer mask tool that's this little button just click that and you should get a, a white rectangle pop up you're going to head over to here make sure that you're running white and black so it'll be white and black so just click this button and that should be alright head up to your gradient tool and then further up to the drop down arrow and just make, your, make sure you're on foreground to background um, which I am and then because it's foreground to background, you're going to want to drag, you're going to want to blend on the, the foreground image. So I'm going to click anywhere sort of halfway in the image and just drag it to the edge of the foreground image. And then that should blend. Um, as you can tell, when it blends, the white sort of begins to cover up the figure in the foreground picture. Um, so you can, uh, you can stop this by just... If you come over to your brush tool, click on that, uh, resize your brush with your square brackets. The right one makes it bigger, left one makes it smaller, whatever. And then just start painting over this image. And as you see, it sharpens up wherever you paint. So I'm just going to paint over the figure. Um, and it stops the blending on that image. You'll have to excuse me if any of this is, is poorly edited. Um, I don't really want to be hanging around and wasting your time, so I'm just going to make it rough. See, I think that's pretty much. Yeah, that's all cleared up. Um, and as far as that picture goes, I think, I think that's blended. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how you blend two images it's quite simple easy process um, you can now merge these two layers if you want just hit control E and that will merge it all into one picture another good thing about doing that is if you go image you can go auto color and it sort of colors it a bit better I don't know whether I like that or not yeah I prefer it like that um, so yeah that's the two images blended let me know what you thought on my voiceover, whether I was clear, whether I was just completely crap. Um, like or dislike if you want. And if you really liked it, you can always subscribe, you know, it's up to you. It means a lot. Um, so thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you on my next tutorial. Peace.